Hello everyone, this is Rahul Malhotra from SFDC Stop and in this video we are going to learn how we can undeploy metadata in any Salesforce org using SFDX deploy tool, right? So in the last video what we did, we actually downloaded this SFDX deploy tool by going to the GitHub repository and downloading it as a zip file and uh, then we set up our config.txt so I have opened this folder in the VS code where I can show you the config.txt so this is my source org uh, from where I fetched some metadata and this is my destination org which is playful beer org where I deployed the metadata right so uh, what metadata we fetched and deployed we actually fetched these four classes from the source org and we deployed it in the destination org so if I go to my playful beer org once uh, I can show you there that I have these four classes uh, let us check out the temperature converter and lead processor classes so here we can see that we have the temperature converter and temperature converter test class in my destination org right and uh, we also have lead processor and lead processor test class in our org so these are the lead processor and lead processor test okay so what we are going to do now we are going to undeploy these four classes from our destination org or i should say we are going to destroy or remove these classes from the destination org using sfdx deploy tool right so in order to do that we have a, i mean if you check out the metadata folder inside this we also have a destructive folder right so this this destructive folder mainly consists of two xml files one is the package.xml which is nothing but a blank package.xml so you have to keep it blank as it is as, as it is present right and uh, you just need to update this destructive changes.xml so this destructive changes.xml file mainly specifies uh, what are the changes or what is the metadata that you want to destroy uh, in your destination org right for so for example right now uh, in my playful beer org which is the destination org i want to destroy these four uh, metadata that is uh, these four apex, apex classes first is temperature converter second is temperature converter test third is lead processor and fourth is lead processor test so in my destructive changes.xml file i have specified these four classes that i want to undeploy from my destination org and uh, that's it you are done so how can i undeploy using these uh, i mean using this destructive changes.xml file all i need to do is to uh, go to my sfdx deploy tool folder and i need to click and open this file which is sfdx deploy tool.bat and uh, now you can see that i have an option which says undeploy metadata in the destination org so all i need to do is to press 7 and i need to press enter so what it will do it will automatically undeploy metadata into my from my destination org right so if we just go to our destination org real quickly and we check out the deployment status here so the metadata is successfully undeployed but let's check out the deployment status so you can see here that a deployment has recently uh, been succeeded and uh, this is the details of that deployment so the four components are being deployed but in actual these are actually undeployed right so if i just go to my apex classes page again here you can see that we have these classes which is lead processor and lead processor test as well as temperature converter and temperature converter test so if i just refresh this page i can see that my lead processor and lead processor test are undeployed and removed from my org as well as my temperature converter and temperature converter test class are also removed from my org right so initially we had uh, around uh, 83 apex classes in our org out of which four i removed so right now we should have 79 apex classes that are present in my org right so this is how easy it is to undeployed metadata from your destination org when you have sfdx deploy tool so uh, the one configuration that is related to this undeployment is uh, folder location to undeploy so this folder location is basically the location of the destructive folder where you have the, the blank package.xml and the destructive changes.xml file where you have specified the changes that you want to undeploy so this this folder location to undeploy is by default the destructive folder under the metadata folder which is present uh, as a part of deploy tool but you can uh, change this destructive folder location by giving a custom location in the config file itself right so we got to know that how we can undeploy metadata in the destination org all you need to do is to set up the destructive changes at xml and you need to uh, press option 7 which is for undeploying right okay so in the next video we are going to learn how we can validate the extracted metadata and deploy the extracted metadata in the destination org right so uh, till then have a good day bye bye